Well, we've been talking about the kingdom of God this week, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the studies. I hope you're studying and going over all the scriptures uh, so that you understand what we're talking about. And um, today I want to take a look at something very, very important. Um, if you look here in um, Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12, it says, and, Jesus, uh, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Now what does that mean? It means that um, we have to be aggressive. Again, remember we can't take it with observation. We can't stand alongside outside of the arena and look in, or we can't stand outside of the kingdom of God and look in and try and understand it. We have to be actively engaged. We have to be violent about it. We have to be aggressive about it. Um, if we don't do that, we have an ad adversary, the devil, who comes and tries to deceive us and keep us from knowing the things that God wants us to know about his kingdom, right? I mean, let's face it, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven means that his will is going to be done here. This world was created to function according to the king his kingdom principles, so you and I need to be violent to know what uh, keeps us actively engaged in his kingdom. Look at here in um, Romans, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians um, chapter 4 and verse, uh, verse 3. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, those um, whose minds the God of this age has blinded who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is um, the image of God, should shine on them. Do you see that? It says that the God of this age is blinding people. So we have to be aggressive. Again, we have to engage in the kingdom of God, the principles that govern that kingdom of God. Why? Because His will is done in us and through us, right? It's very important for us to understand that we need to be violent. Uh, once again, the the uh, we know that that the devil comes to uh, to still kill and destroy. He's here to try and keep us from receiving all that God has given us through His kingdom. I want to go to another scripture here. Um, Luke sixteen sixteen. And it says this, it says, The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God has been preached, and everyone is pressing into it. There again, it's demonstration of, of being engaged in the things that govern the kingdom of God. They need to function in our life. They need to be uh, uh, um, applied to our life so that others can see the kingdom of God in us. Once again, I hope you understand, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent that you and I take it by force. Hey, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek Him and serve Him.